Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add all altars slash teleport locations. So for the rune crafting skill, we're going to be adding all the teleportations to each altar, which will spawn us directly outside the altar. For teleport locations, we're going to be doing every single city besides the home teleport tab, because that requires done, uh, not dungeon, it requires construction. Now, construction still altogether is a different tutorial later on, but it is a very, very complex tutorial. It is not very beginner friendly and it is very, very hard and very lengthy. Now, to get started in this tutorial, what we need to do is we need to open up the file, which is com.feather.net.decoders.handlers and we need to go to inventory options handler because we're handling the item from our inventory. Now, to scroll down, we need to go to line 217 where it says if magic.use teleport tab player item ID. We need to right click on the teleport option and we need to go open declaration. So that will open up the declaration of the file and this is where we're going to start coding. Okay, so we're going to do this private final static weld tile in an array and we're going to say that it's alter tabs and we're going to equal it to this and we're going to go new weld tile and we're going to do that open up one of those put an ending one now inside of this we need to type in the coordinations now i have them all written down so it's going to make this a little bit more convenient for us to actually code it now to do so the coordination for the first one which is the rune crafting guild is 3107 3160 and 1 because it's on plane 1 we want to do that and press enter to go to the next tab line okay now we need to do new weld tile again and open and close with one of those markings at the end Okay, each time you do it, you have to do the marking at the end. This one is 3125, 3406, so 3406, and then 0. Now we need to go new, world, tile again. And we need to type in 2980, 31, uh, sorry, 3513, and I put a dot, not the right button, mate. All right, and then a 0. Then we're going to do the next one. So we're going to enter to a new line and we're going to do the same thing again. New world tile. And this one is going to be 3183. So 3183, 3165, 31650. And then we're going to do the next one. New world tile. There is a fair few of these to do for this. And then we have to edit the tabs underneath, which the tabs underneath is very simple. We can actually get the right coordinations for those and fix it very efficiently. Okay, so the one that we're up to now, because we've done 3183, is we're up to the Earth one, which is 3304, 3474, oh my god, 3474, 0, and then the next line again. New world tile oh my god tile open this and we want to do three zero five two three four four three zero and that's oh is that the right one hold on a sec nope we'll put that in front though so what we'll do is we'll just go over here actually don't do it like that we'll just put a thing here uh, new Jesus world tile sorry about this that was my bad I was actually reading too far in front so this one is 3313 3253 and 0 now that is correct if my spelling was correct um, and then we want to go to the next tile so after 3052 we need 2410 Four three seven seven, and this is the cosmic one. 
um, but we need to type in new world tile. I know we should be copying and pasting, but to stop many errors from happening, preferably not pasting it would be a better option because there's a lot of mistakes when you copy and paste this sort of code because it's so repetitive and you get lost in what numbers you're up to and what you've done. And it can be very tricky. 3036, okay, 3063, 3589, and a zero again. Now we need another line, so new world tile, oh Jesus, and the new world tile for this one after 3063 is 2869, so 2869, 3017, 3017, and a zero. Then we want to do a new line, new world tile, and we're almost done with this section, so this is good. Um, the one that we just did, 2869, so it's 2857, 2857, comma, 3379, 3379, comma, and zero. Okay, now the next one we want to do is we want to press enter. We want to go across here and go new. Well, Jesus, it didn't actually copy that line down, did it? Uh, new weld tile. And this one here should be 1863. And 4639, 4639, and a comma zero. New world tile. There is so many teleportations for like the altars. It's bad, but it's also good because you think about it. If we didn't have these teleportations in this game, we would be kind of um, in a bad spot with this skill. It's very important. Oh my god. Um, no. This is the last one, I actually reckon. 2156. Yeah, it is. This is the last one that we actually have to write for this section. Okay, so now that we've got that one there, um, 2156, uh, 3864, and then 0. Okay, so then Control S to save that for a sec. Now, underneath this one here, this is what we're up to. Okay, so this one here is Varrock, which is 32173426.0. The next one's Lumbridge, 3222, which you could do if you like, which is what I'm going to do because that's the actual proper coordination for it. And then you've got the next one after that, which is Felador, which is 29653790. Yep, that's correct. The next one after that is. Camelot with two seven five eight three four seven, yeah three four seven eight zero, and the one after that is your Adoin, which is two double six zero three three zero six zero, and then we need to add the last one, which is the Watchtower. So the Watchtower is New World Tile, and it needs to be two double five one three double one four, and a zero. Now, control S to save. Underneath this section, we need to do a public static boolean. And we need to use alter teleports or teleport. And then we want to do a final player player with a final integer item id and we want to do this okay so now inside this section we're going to get this error for a second which is okay because we haven't returned a true or a false statement so if and then we're going to go item id is less than so if the item id is less than 135 yeah 13598 right so if it's less than that or item ID is greater than 13598 plus uh, alter tabs 
dot length minus one. So that means, in other words, that when we do this code, hold on, return false. I don't want to get too far behind on this. Um, what will happen is it's saying that if we've got this length, it will go all the way up to the length. Say that's the last length. It will actually add one on top. So we go, no, we don't want to add one extra than what there is because it doesn't declare the first one as an entity. We need to subtract it by one so it counts from this to this instead of from here to one that doesn't exist. Otherwise, it will throw it out of bounds error. Okay. Hopefully that helps. And if the next if we need to do, we need to go use alter, right? Teleport. Oh, sorry, not use alter teleport. It use teletab. And then we want to do player. And we want to do alter tabs. And then we want to go item ID minus and then we want to go one three five nine eight right we're going to go player dot get inventory dot delete item and then we want to go item ID comma to one okay and we want to return true Okay, so then we can control S to save that. Okay, so now this is effective working. I just want to bring that up one line, maybe two. Yep, cool. So I'm happy with the spacing between that. It looks nice to me. Um, inventory options. Now this is where we got to do another one of these. So what we want to do is if, and we want to go magic dot use alter teleport player player ID, then we want to return. Okay, and then Control S to save. Now I'm going to put a line underneath that. Cool, beautiful. So what that's going to do now, just to show you how this works, is the alter tabs teleport. So when it runs this code here, uh, or sorry, this one here, it's going to look for the IDs up to the length, the one that we've clicked on. It will use that item, right? And when it uses that item, it will go to use teletab. So it would use the lock, the set next animation, set the graphics and the world task manager schedule new world world tasks. So and enter the stage and then it will run and it will set, you know, the next animation and so forth and the next world tile and so forth. Okay. So when that happens, it's gonna do that and it will delete the one that we used. It won't delete multiple and cause a bug. So that's what we want, or every other tile. So now what we're going to do to get this to work and do this correctly is we're just going to run the game, which will take a few seconds. And we need to spawn in every single one of those IDs. Now, in a later tutorial, I'll teach you how to make an interface so you can just have one click and it will give you all of these items instead of having to type them in. You only have to type it in a code once and then it works permanently, which I like. It's a very good debugging tool, especially if you're working on combat and uh, skills and stuff. Okay, so the first one we need to do is item, and we need to do 13598, and we want to type in, say, 100. Then we're going to go item 13599 and 100. Then item 13600 and 100. And then we're going to go item 13601, then 100. Then we're going to go item 13602 to 100 and item one three uh what is it six oh three one hundred because i'm pretty sure we didn't get that one yet yep item one three six oh four one hundred item one three six oh five one hundred item one three six oh six one hundred so pretty much I'm giving myself a hundred of each. And the reason for that being is it's always good to have extras for purposes of if you make any errors or any mistakes, you can easily log back in and you can fix that, which is always good for debugging. One, three, six, oh, nine, one hundred. Oh my God. One, three, six, one, zero, one hundred. 
and now we're up to the last one. One, three, six, and I think it's 11, 100. There we go. Okay, so now we've got every single teleportation tab for this. We haven't got the ones for like Varrock and stuff, so now we should do that quickly. Item 8007, 100, and then it keeps going up. So item 8008, 100. Item 8009, 100. It goes up to 13, but we can't use 13 because that doesn't exist, uh, which is the house one. So 8010100. Item 8011100. Item 8012100. Okay, so now that we've got every single teleport tab, I'm just going to break every single one so you can see that the animation works and we're going to teleport to these locations. So the first one we're going to do is the Rune Crafting Guild teleport. So as you can tell, broke, you've got the sound animation, and we appear at the portal. The next one air altar it appears also the air altar next one mind altar beautiful we're at the mind altar the next one is water then we're going to go air uh, not air I meant earth then fire then body then cosmic Then we're going to go chaos. Then we're going to go law. Then we're going to go death. Then blood. And then we're going to go astral. Then we're going to go varrock. You have to wait till you come out of the scene because you're still technically... Um, locked if that makes sense like they're blocking all animations and interactivity which is fair enough so you can't dupe in it so now we're in Lumbridge and then we go Felidor and then we go Camlet then we're going to go Adoin and then Watchtower I hope that helped you guys with the tutorial of alter teleportations and also teleportations to different uh, areas we'll be able to do this same sort of teleportation for uh, games neck ring of dueling and any other teleportations you want to make in game so whether it be like a teleport book with certain teleport animations and so forth um, hopefully that helps understanding a little bit about how this works and how you can implement your own um, and if this has helped you, I wish and hope that you will subscribe, like and follow my tutorials and uh, we'll see you in the next one.